Hey everybody! I'm going to do a black negative space with a white string pull and instead of using the twine that I have been using um, I am going to use um, like decorative ribbon those really fine kind of satiny ribbons you know you get the roll for like 50 cents those things that's what I'm using so I've got a thin red one and a thicker black one um, just to see, because these are so lightweight that I'm curious how they will react. Um, people have directed me to other string poles where they use different, um, more like a yarn type. Um, but uh, a lot of them are achieving kind of a look that I'm not after. And as I've said before, it's a beautiful look, but it's not exactly I want kind of a crisper look. At least that's what I always go for. But whether I actually get it or not is a different story. Um, so if you have any questions about the materials I use, check out my um, video description. There's an Amazon link to all my products. Uh, if you have questions about paint mixing, I have paint mixing playlists. Check those out. There's Paint Mixing 101 um, video tag to my front page. Um, this black paint that I'm using is um, uh, Dutch Boy Latex Interior Paint. And um, I'm still trying to decide if I should just keep buying. I, I really like the deepness of um, the acrylic black paint. It just, it seems richer than this, which makes sense. Um, it's just a lot more money, but yet I am not, I don't do these pores as much, so I don't go through it the way I would go through um, the white. But I still have a gallon left of this black and um, to anyone else's eye, it's probably not even noticeable. And it wouldn't be noticeable to me, except in that one painting where I accidentally used both and they dried next to each other. And then I could tell when they were dry that the um, uh, art acrylic was a richer, shinier, deeper shade of black. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have even really paid it much attention. Um, so as I say, if I'm not using both at the same time in the same pour, you're not even going to know. And I like the quality of this. Uh, it mixes a lot easier than the acrylic did, which is pleasant. And I can use it to prime the MDF with which is what I'm using right now. And I've got another order in with him. I don't know if I said how my dad wants one that's, oops, 30. He wants a white one with black string pull. And he wants it 36 by 18. Well, I resined a 24 by 24 MDF and oh my goodness, is it heavy. So I can only imagine how much his is going to weigh, but I am going to leave the um, hanging hardware issue up to him because he already has an idea how he's going to put double hooks of some type on the back and he's got a whole elaborate system that he has planned. Um, <laughs> my dad's so cool. I love his ideas. Ugh. My son and I, because I always talk how close my children are with my parents, and we're looking at, um, yes, because my son is a history, well, he does, you know, state sales, so we were watching, um, slideshows, uh, yeah, you know, the little slide from um i think the one we we're looking at was like from 1970 and 
He's like asking me, who is this, who is this? I'm like, I'm not sure. It looks kind of like my grandma, but I'm not sure. And my mom's asleep on drugs from her surgery. And my dad goes to bed at like eight, so texting my aunt on the East Coast, and then she was still awake. But, um, anywho, my point was I saw, there was a picture of my dad and my mom on a boat, and they're both so young, so skinny, so, and, uh, and I didn't even know it was my dad. I asked my aunt, I'm like, who is this sitting with mom? And she goes, that's your dad. Because when I zoomed the picture up, it was, so I'm just dipping this in here. It was the exact splitting image of my son. I've never seen my son in my, my dad and my son before, but oh my gosh, I looked at that picture, zoomed it in. I was like, oh my God, they could be twins, which made my son feel probably really good because he's, they're so close. Okay, so this is thick. Like, you know, thicker, not the paint thickness. So let's see what happens. Oh, and see, it kind of went to the side. Very different look, because it went to the side, so it was pulling on the edge that, which is a round twine does not have an edge. And um, look at that cool line it gave. So, and I also, I think I told you guys about my son's senior pictures and we had to reschedule and he's getting them taken at like the, we're going to do pictures at like the historical museum here in town and stuff because he loves that stuff. And we had to bump him to November, which is good. He's, he got, because my father-in-law passed away last um, May. May? April? Oh my gosh, I should know. His birthday Sunday. Um... And he'd had a leather jacket of his from high school in the basement, you know, for 50, 60 years. So it had molded. So my son took it um, to the leather maker and they refurbished it. And so he plans to wear that in his senior photos. He, he's an interesting boy. I am loving those. That's very cool. I'm going to try this skinny one. I don't want to leave it just like that, though, because I find it boring. But I find this line and these cells very cool. I think I know what I'm going to do. Because this should maybe give a similar effect, just a thinner effect. I always talk about my son. My daughter's pretty awesome as well. She just doesn't live here, so I don't see. <laughs> oh, it went on its side again. I like it. Okay, I'm sitting. I don't know why I'm standing anyways, but now I gotta look at it. I can't tell you how much that fine white line appeals to me. Look at all those awesome cells. And there's no silicone. So those, all that is just from the paint and the technique. Look at it from other angles. See if I want to add more to it.
gosh. There's almost no paint right in that section. I'm actually going to dip the tip of this pin. Not that accomplished nothing. <laughs> the problem is if I do more, I can't undo it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. It's so pretty. I love it. I just love. Love it, love it. Very different. I'm trying to, let's see, do I have a, here's the difference. So, wait, this might have been, this might have been made I think this was with the chain pull. So I will show you. So this is the, this one is with the twine and it's been resined. So it's a little bit different. It's kind of smoother looking here, more um, cell action. And it has, as I said, this defined line around it, whereas these do not. So similar, but different. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.